So I thought I would do another uh, video, I've not done one for a wee while. Um, this one is going up to a little, I don't know what you'd call it, like a gully, a little hole in the ground, a little glen. It's uh, something I found um, a few years ago and I've told people about it and they wanted to visit and trying to describe how to get there is kind of difficult. Um, so I'll, I'll do a video on that. To start with, basically, you want to park in the Lauder Memorial Car Park, which is near Glen Branter. Um, you can't really see it, but over over there, there's a a memorial uh, put up by Harry Lauder for his son, who I believe died in the First World War. Um, so I think this area is called Invernoden. I probably pronounced it wrong, but never mind. So yeah, I'll, I'm going to walk to it. Well, <laughs> and the tours of sun that we've got, and, uh, and the track splits a few times. So I'll, I'll show you what direction to go every time the track splits. Got my drones with me, but mm, don't know if I'll use them. I'm not sure. Anyway, cheers. actually, I didn't think I'd be on so quickly. This is the entrance to the car park, uh, and as you can see, there is uh, quite a lot of water damage here as well. So um, <laughs> I didn't even notice this when I first drove in, so how my car managed to make it without ripping the exhaust off, I'm not sure. Probably the big wheelbase helped, but uh, yeah, if you come here just be careful. Okay, this is the first uh, split of the track. It happens just probably about 100 to 200 yards, yeah, 200 yards after the gate that I showed in that previous photograph. Uh, we're wanting to go right. That track up there on the left takes you up the hillside to a hydro dam that uh, I did a video of uh, earlier in the year, where I, I talked about the <laughs> talked about the eagle chasing my drone. But uh, that's that's how you'd get to it, up that track there. And I'm kind of glad that I didn't take my uh, <laughs> my bike because the condition of this track is horrendous. Most of the stones are very loose and already we've come across this deep, deep gouge in the track. So I think I'll be spending half my time getting off the bike to walk it round. But uh, anyway, so we're going basically at the right hand, the right hand track. Yet yeah, more damage caused by the, the rains four weeks ago. It's going to take years for all these tracks to be repaired back to the formal condition. Oh, so sad. This is the next split in the track. Again, we're wanting to go right. This track left um, takes you up towards the, the other hydro scheme that effectively sits up at the top of the hill there. Uh, and that which then loops back to the radio tower and then drops you down to the Larach near the whistle field in. Um, but that track itself does split uh, in two, so you need to go right to go up to the hydro scheme. Uh, but if you go left, it will take you up through the forest, and again join that joins that Inverno Invernoden uh, track that I told you about earlier. Uh, in fact, if you watch that video, that will be the track that I come that I use when I come back. Okay, so we are now going right. So this is the last landmark. Well, one of the last landmarks. This is a turnaround spot for the logging lorries, um, and we are going straight on up there. Now, if I remember rightly, and I've been wrong before unfortunately, but I think that's the majority of the climb behind you. Uh, there is still a little bit more, but if I remember rightly, unfortunately, once you get close to where we're going, you actually lose a bit of height, which I never like doing. Uh, but yes, down we go, down there. Oh well, I was wrong about there being no more steep bits, but I still maintain there's not as many as there was. Uh, still there, just the occasional climb, but uh, 
I'm on wide angle here so I can't really see in the screen but uh, there's a lovely view over Loch Eck down there through the trees um, a view you just wouldn't get if you were here maybe a couple of months earlier because of the, the leaves but yeah nice sense of height when you're looking down onto the loch We're getting so close now, but unfortunately, this is the, the deepest and the, probably the widest uh, landslip so far. So, just have to navigate. Hopefully, this is the last one, but that's some serious amount of damage. Okay, this is. Uh, where the main track ends it's another turnaround so where you want to go is through there now I'll be honest I'm a bit worried about the state of the hill down to the down to the I don't, still don't know what to call it gully because uh, it's it's very very steep and it's slippy at the best of times and uh, the last hundred meters in height up here that the ground was like just bog so I'll go as far as I can I've got these I've, uh, trekking poles because unfortunately I know from bitter experience that they are incredibly helpful uh, and they are needed and unfortunately I've not always had them with me so I've had a few muddy trousers in my time from sliding down but uh, unfortunately I didn't bring my headband or my chest band for the GoPro so I'm going to make my way down there without any, well certainly no footage of me actually doing it <laughs> which is probably a good thing, it'd be entertaining for you but embarrassing for me because I'll be like a baby elephant going across a tightrope I think okay let's go so far the track hasn't been as bad as I was fearing yeah, still very slippy, but then again it always is, so the, the trekking poles have already saved me one tumble but uh, we need to go all the way down there uh, but at least this time I've not got my heavy, my heavy camera bag I'm trying to get up that slope when you've got a 16 kilogram uh, camera bag in your back is not easy and where we're going is down there, there's a river there, hopefully you can hear it it's quite loud actually, so ho I'm hoping the river's quite full. I thought maybe it might have been quite low because uh, it's not really rained for a couple of days. But uh, we're going once we get down there, just follow the river and the gullies just kind of through there and down there. Right, made it down. Yeah, the, the condition of the ground, to be honest, is just pretty much what it normally is. Not any wetter, not any slippier. The main, pro the main problem I had really getting down was just the sheer steepness so again the poles are great for helping you keep your balance but there's a lot of downed branches so it's hard enough going down a steep slope as at the best of times but when there's lots of loose branches lying about it just makes it even slippier but we need to make our way along there now uh, uh, that's part of the gully that river is the river uh, that goes all the way up the hill up there and up there, way through those trees is where um, there's a hydro dam and it's where the, the upper track loops round and it goes to the radio tower which is way over there and then drops down to uh, Bilarich and Whistlefield eventually uh, I think I've got a couple of videos where I filmed it there you know, basically up there but uh, right, I'm going to concentrate on this bit here this isn't too bad, but we get to some bare rocks around here and they can be really slippy and here we are I think part of me would love to have seen 
Well, this place was light uh, four weeks ago during those heavy rains. Uh, I'd love to see how high up the water came, but given given all the landslip damage in the way up here, it's probably something I'm glad I didn't see. Because I would have been tempted. <laughs> And there we go. I absolutely love the atmosphere here. Despite the noise, it's incredibly peaceful. But I've been up here so many times with my camera and I just haven't managed to find what I consider to be a good shot. Something that captures, you know, how different this place is. I've taken many shots but not really too happy with any of them. Uh, at the top of that hill there and just through the trees there's a dead end track that will eventually take you down to Dornock Point so one of, the, one of these days I'm going to come up that track and then see if I can get up there but uh, I'm not even sure I'm going to fly my drone I'll, I'll see I'll see how I feel but right now I've made my lunch I'm very hungry so I'm going to have a lunch and in case there's always somebody asks what I had for my lunch. So it's a baguette with cherry tomatoes, uh, free range ham, some chicken, and a thermos full of bobro. There you go, so you don't need to ask. lunch over, visit over, starting to lose the light, so uh, time to head back. Um, thank you very much for watching. I just need to get all the way up there and then I'll be heading back. Um, hopefully, if you want to visit this place, hopefully I've given you enough information to uh, find it. Um, and if, But also, if I remember, I'll put a map uh, at the end of the video just showing the route that I took 
Um, but, you know, memory's not what it was, so I may forget. So if I do, apologies. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Cheers.